Hey guys, Nathan here. Um, I've been chosen to do Cubing World's Q&A Saturday for this week. Um, so let's get started. Uh, these are the comments from Noah's video from last week. I'll start oldest first. Um, G Jordan 7 asks Mott Volk or Felix Zendix. Um, I have mm, uh, they're both they're both really good cubers. And I don't know either one personally, and I uh, can't really choose between them. G Jordan 7 asks, what would you recommend to do in order to break sub 15 on 3x3? I'd say learn all your PLOs, um, get get some of your OLOs down. You don't necessarily have to learn all of them to be sub 15. Um, I still don't know all of mine properly. Um, and also plan out your cross during inspection, plan out the entire cross, um, and during F2O, turn slow and look ahead. Um, you should be able to do your F2O pairs blind, like individual pairs, so that you're looking ahead to the next one. Um, and always practice, practice, practice. Uh, G Jordan Seven asks favorite girl cuber. Um, girl cubers in general, definitely Sarah Strong. But on YouTube, I'd have to say uh, just keep cubing. G Jordan Seven asks what square one would you recommend to someone who wants to start learning and doesn't have one yet? Um, all square ones are pretty much similar. Um, there's not a huge difference between them like there was in three by three. Um, if you're looking for the cheapest one, I would go with the uh, cube twist. Uh, Matthew Chang asks, do you fold or scrunch your toilet paper? Um, I fold it, I take four squares off of the roll and fold it in half and fold it in half again. Um, yeah, so it's like an eight ply piece of toilet paper. Don't judge me, it's how I was raised. Okay, Matthew Chang asks, do you think the Cubing World is deteriorating? Um, if he means Cubing World, like the YouTube channel, I don't think so. It's growing, it's getting more subscribers, it's getting more content, and it's definitely on the way up. But um, the Cubing World, <coughs> as in the whole of the hobby of cubing, um, I'd say uh, it's it's there are definitely more people that are getting into it, um, but with more people comes more people who you don't really want in the community. <clears throat> um, so I mean, it's not deteriorating at a rate that it's like gonna die in a year or anything. But I think I don't know. Only time will tell. That's a difficult question. Okay, Cube Cube asks, how many OLOs do you know? Um, I know. I can, okay, so I, I don't know proper algs for everything, but I have like combinations of different algorithms, and I can one look every OLL, um, but not all of them are the best algorithms, so I'd say, I probably know like 40. Um, Jack Hennessy asks, what are your main cubes? Um, my main 2x2 is two, a Dion, my main 3x3, three three, um, right now it's a Algo Guhong version 2. Main 4x4 is a Wei Su, 5x5 is a Florian modded Sheng Shao, 6x6 is a Sheng Shao, 7x7 is a full size Sheng Shao, um, Square 1 is a MF8 version 1, um, my one hand cube is a 55mm Zanchi, um, my Pyramix is a Sheng Shao, Florian modded, um, well, Florian modded, um, my Mega Minx is a Dion, um, Clock, I don't know what it is. Yeah. Um, uh, Gav Nasty asks, is he this blurry in real life? Um, if you're referring to Noah, then yeah, he's pretty blurry. Um, but me, uh, no, I am crystal clear. Okay. Uh, XD Kid1 asks, what are your PBs for each puzzle you solve? Um, let me pull up my PBs right now. I'm just going to go through the singles because everything else would take too long. Um, uh, my 3x3 single is 591. My Mega Minx single is 114.46. My 5x5 single is 127.69. My 4x4 single is 37.64. My 8x8 single is 958.56. My 3x3 blind single is 145.57. My 2x2 single is 0.66. My 6x6 single is 3 minutes 0.05. My 7x7 single is 4 minutes 38.70. My pyramid single is 111. My square one thing single is 366. Um, high sim 1701. Uh, one handed 1440. Clock 633. Skew 370. That's all the singles, single PBs that I have recorded. Um, Matthew Chang asks, have you ever met a diet drink that you liked? Um, no, diet sodas are disgusting and they're terrible for you. Don't drink them.
boys and girls. Uh, Callum House Jep asks, of whom is your favorite British Cuber? Um, favorite British Cuber? Um, well, m my favorite Cuber that competes for the UK in the WCA is Brest, um, but like strictly British, like lives in the UK, I would say um, probably Robbie Yao, because he's such an all-rounder and he's so good at everything. Um, G Jordan Seven asks, "Who is your favorite YouTube Cuber?" And that would be Cubix. Um, Aberrant Lamp asks, "What is two plus two? Uh, that would be four. Uh, he says, "Have you ever tried the Calvin Puzzle Square One?" Yeah, I have one. I think it breaks in really fast and gets too fast. Um, and I wish you could tighten the layers, not just the slice. Um, but it's uh, probably the best alternative to an MF8 version one, in my opinion. Um, what is your least favorite event? Uh, feet. It's gross. Uh, favorite event other than Square One? Um, favorite event other than Square One? Probably 4x4 four four at the moment, because that's my practice so much. But um, I guess I would just say good old 3x3. Three three. Um, what is the worst puzzle you own? Um, in terms of like puzzle quality, I'd have to say uh, like a 3x3 three three that I got from Cracker Barrel. So, like one of the sides pulls off, um, and you like, can barely turn it. Um, do you like key lime pie? Yeah, key lime pie is good. Um, Damp Hand Gaming asks, uh, I don't want to be a world class square one solver, but I'd like to be decent. What would be a good set of algs that would would not be too tedious to learn that I could get decent with? Um, th uh, hmm. There's, if you want to be fastish, um, learn Vandenberg. Um, if you like, start with your your two look EP and you know a decent cube shape method like David Wolner's advanced cube shape um, and you just know all your Vandenberg algorithms then it's not that much to learn and that will get you well on your way to being good um, you could easily get sub 20 without knowing full EP um, or with only knowing two look EP um, so uh, there are other questions on the um, Keeping World Facebook page. So, uh, let's scroll down to it. Okay. Um, Praveen Sunny says, How do you see Look Ahead? Any tutorial? Um, I assume he's just talking about square one. Um, I, I don't really look ahead. Um, like, I know I know full cube shape, so I like have that planned out. But then past that, I don't really look ahead much, unless it's like CP, I'm looking at blocks, or how my edges might end up, um, but there's no real look ahead in square one, you just do your algs, um, I don't think there are any tutorials for that. Um, Peter Park asks, what do you think about the new 3x3s? I think there are too many, uh, you can't buy them all, because it's just too much. Um, I think some of them are definitely decent. Um, I think it's good that there's like innovation in puzzle design, but spaced out would be nice. Um, do you feel left out because there aren't any new square ones, or are you content with the MF8? Um, I think the MF8 is, is really good. Um, of course there are some flaws in it, but I don't know how much that could be overcome in a square one just because of the nature of how it turns. Um, but who knows, maybe in five years we'll have huge innovations. Like five years ago, look at the three by threes there were. Um, that might be how it is with square one. But at the moment, I think the MFA is pretty all right. Um, so that's my Q&A video. Thank you all for watching. Um, leave comments down here or on the Facebook page or on the Keeping World website for next week's Q&A Saturday. Thanks for watching.